Hi, this is Marcus with a bot and quick tip video. This week, I want to show you how you can use the new bot and CLI to quickly spin up a bot and project. In order for this to work, you need to have Node installed on your computer. And in order to run the bot and application, you also need Java. So if you have those two things installed, let's get started. So th there are a couple of different ways you can do this. The first is through using NPX if you don't want to install it. So you can just run NPX and then the package name, bot and CLI, then run init and give the project the name. All right, so that will create us a new application called Flow in this instance using the default switches using VOD and Flow and the current LTS version, VOD and 14. So if we go into the application here, let's open it up in the ID just to see what we have here. You'll see that we have a standard uh, VOD and project with the front end folder and the Java source folder here. All right, so that's one way of doing it, just using NPX. Uh, let's go back one folder up. Now let's install it so we can use it more conveniently without the NPX uh, prefix. So in this case, we're gonna run NPM, install, global, and then the same package name, bot in CLI. All right, and now that we have this installed, we can run bot in init. And there are a couple of different things we can do. So if we run bot in help, in it, you'll see that we can pass in a couple of different options like dash dash fusion to get a fusion project dash dash empty if we just want to have a single empty view uh, with no menu or anything. Latest if we want the latest VOD version, pre if we want the latest pre-release version, and then there are uh, some presets uh, that you could use as well. So let's just take a look at how we could create a VOD fusion project then. So we can run VOD in init fusion dash dash fusion like this All right go into the fusion project and exactly the same as with the flow project we have a standard varden project here one thing to notice that the projects now include a maven wrapper so you can start them uh, even if you don't have maven installed on your command line so you can just run the maven wrapper uh, and that will start the project like this. All right, that is it for this week's VOD and tip. Hope that was useful for you. Stay tuned for another video and ask us any questions in the comments below. Thanks, bye.